How do you feel? How does the group feel? How does the coach feel about that effort? Yeah, uh, yeah, obviously pretty disappointed. I think there's a lot of underlying issues that we've got to sort out, and it started from last week against Parramatta. Uh, we've got a we've got a habit at the moment. We think we're going all right, and things like we let things like this happen. So uh, Storm taught us a valuable lesson tonight. Jimmy, thanks for joining us, mate. I know it's tough, especially after a loss like this. You, you mentioned underlying issues. What, what are the underlying issues? Last week we missed, uh, I think, over 40 tackles. Uh, it was obviously a, a short turnaround, uh, but something we needed to address, and I think that showed tonight. Uh, we knew they were going to be a good side and fast and quick, but... You know, something that we need to address uh, if we want to compete against the good sides. James, it's Michael Ennis again. You know what Brace said, I know it's difficult for you, but we saw vision at, at half-time of Michael Maguire where he left the players in the dressing room to sort it out themselves. What, what would Madge say at half-time? Mate, you know, I, I, mate, I love Madge. Uh, he just said, you know, it's, it's up to us. We've, we've dug this hole, we'll get ourselves out of it. Uh, you know, and, and some of the young boys actually spoke up, which was really refreshing. Uh, you know, silver lining, but the fact is, you know, we've got a lot of uh, things to sort out. Uh, it's going to take everyone in the side to sort it out. We're only halfway through the season, so we've got to really pick it, pick it back up. James, it's Cooper, obviously a tough night, and you're the captain of the club. Where to hear from you and your group? I think uh, near, near the end there, we're starting to get at each other. I think that's the last thing we need at the moment. Um, start pointing the finger. You know, only the soft ones do that. We need to be strong. We need to come together. We need to sort this out ourselves. Um, so I think as the captain and the leaders of this side, that's up to us to sort out. But, you know, we've got to, like I said, we've got to come together first before we start fixing everything. Were you surprised with the start, James? We understand that the side went into camp at Noosa throughout the week. And uh, it looked like, I mean, in those early stages, particularly that opening 10 and 15 minutes that the side just hadn't turned up. Mate, you know, that could be, that, that could be an issue we, we have to look at. Um, not, not focused on the game, going, coming up to Noosa, things like that. Um, yeah, mate, it, it's definitely something we need to look at. But no, not surprised at all by the start that the Storm uh, put on us. Like I said, they taught us a valuable lesson. Um, we got to look at everything of that game. I wouldn't be surprised if we watched the whole game. So mm. um, <laughs> take out the good, which I don't think there's much, but we definitely need to look at everything, all the negatives, uh, and we've got to move on quick. Well, James, hopefully this can be a line in the sand for the West Tigers. Really appreciate you joining us. I know it would be an extremely challenging conversation to have, and, and watching this game back is not going to be easy either, but hopefully it's onwards and upwards from here for the West Tigers. No, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Just looking at some pictures out of the West Tigers dressing room. This is a really serious moment for that playing group. We spoke to James Tamo and he said he repeatedly alluded to underlying issues that they need to sort out. And it's sort of and then he also said towards the back end of that game, they were blame shifting. They were pointing the figure at one another saying, you did this, you did that. That it seems like no one's taking ownership of what is going on at the West Tigers in those effort areas. And even yeah. Mark Maguire, we saw half-time, he threw his hands up and said, it's up to you yeah. guys. The other concerning thing, well, James Tarman, he's trying to do the right thing to the captain and um, you know, defend his side. I, I was alarmed to think that the young guys were talking at half-time. You know, for me, that, 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 at half-time, that, that was the time for their senior leaders to stand up and take ownership of what had just unfolded in that opening 40 minutes. There's huge problems at, at the West Tigers. There's no denying that. I've said all, all season that the current group of players that, that Michael Maguire's got, and I, I know they had some, some wins against the, the Tigers and an understrength Penrith side back-to-back -back weeks, and the attention went off them for a while. But, you know, as James said, their performance against Parramatta was ordinary. You know, that, that, that's a game that they should be up for, a battle of the West. And tonight was disastrous who, for them. And, and I just don't think he's got who the individual senior leaders. Me. Well, they've yeah, got James yeah. Tamo there. They've got Luke Brooks has been there long look, enough. I, Moses I, I, agree, I agree with you, but I've never, you hardly ever see Brooksy talk. I mean, look at look at Maguire firing up. I, I, you don't see anyone in that side put their hand up and say, "Let's go." Leadership's a real concern. Yeah, it is. It is real concern. It has been for a long time. The West Tigers. You, the, the other concerning thing tonight, Braith, was when they were standing in the huddle behind their line. Yeah. Robbie Farrell was the one that yes. was talking. Yes.
He was one. There didn't seem to be any other chat coming out of there. Um, but he's got he, this tonight. What I think, Von, when you say it's an underlining moment, tonight's the night where I think Mike McGuire learned a lot, a real lot about some individuals in his side, and it's time that he started to make some hard decisions. Um, and I think they really need to have a look at their recruitment. Yeah, to be has, he, has Madge been making the right decisions? Well, we, we, we spoke the other night. I mean, Pengu has a chance of going there. You know, Pengu has all the ability in the world, but the issues that Pengu has as a player are the issues that they've got right now in terms of consistency, yeah. and, discipline. And discipline. He's unreliable. Mm. Is that why Tim Sheens has been brought back into the fold? You would think so, and I think Tim would. They need him bad. I don't, know if he's, I don't know if he's there right now, but they should get him in there as soon as possible. I think possible. he's only a few weeks away. Yeah, Michael Maguire is known as a hard task master. He's a defensive-based coach, and he's been spruiking that since arriving at West Tigers. Now, you talk about recruitment. You know, Pango Jr., great talent, but if you want to set a standard of defensive resolve, toughness, character, Dale Finucane is sits that mould perfectly. Oh, perfect. you know I mean, so for me, if you've got a style of play... You can't just recruit talent. You've got to recruit players that f can buy in and actually execute. Because everyone can say they can do it, but the difference between good and great is actually going and doing it for 80 minutes under extreme they, they conditions. They should be going for Finucane, shouldn't they? Oh, please? yeah, players like that mould. That, that's how you change uh, the fabric of your club. If you want to go from what it is to what you want it to be, it's about not talent, it's about the personality and, and, and how they go about their their work ethic because that can be influential across a big group. Just got a text from the club saying that Tim Sheens will be there by mid-July. But So the, they are trying to make changes. They are trying to address the standards that they hold themselves accountable to. It's been I, a long time. The yeah. Tigers have been struggling for a very, very long time. Well, this long will be time. their tenth year that Oof. they are aiming to play finals. If okay. they don't make the eight this year, it'll be a decade without playing in, in the top eight. Yeah. Is that a failure in terms of, of a business sense? If you're oh, in the business of winning a premiership of and course. you're not in the top eight for a decade, what does that say? Of course it is, Vaughn. And, and the, the problem is there's no real shining light at the moment. It, it's getting worse. I mean, tonight was... It's a dark day. It's a dark night. You, you, there, there's no shining light. I can't see it. Uh, the, the fact that the captain stands there after the game and says that there's underlying issues and... They conceded you know, over 100 points in the last two weeks. They've conceded over 500 points this season already. Yeah, they're, they're, there's huge problems there. They're, they're, there's, there's, there's big problems and, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll come to you two. You two were both captains of your previous clubs. If you're James Tarmow, what do you do this week to the group in terms of your video sessions and your meetings? What do you say to get a spike and a reaction out of them? Well, I think... <laughs> The big thing that James, like the, the challenging thing for James, he's been made captain of a club when he's at the back end of his career. Now he, he's playing less than half an hour a game, and as a captain, the one thing you want to do is lead by with your with your actions to try and inspire your teammates. And James is spending minimal time on the field to do that. What he does have to do is is set some standards and he needs to keep people accountable in video sessions. They they need to sit and watch that first half an hour of that game and ask questions not only of the playing group. But the mindset in terms of their preparation, because clearly they were underprepared going there tonight. We, we understand that they went to Noosa, and well, what mindset does that send? You know, like I, I understand teams going into camp, that's great. But at the same time, if you're going into camp, you've almost got to be, build that siege mentality to come out and take the storm head on aggressively. They were that passive, they, they were so passive. And on the back of well, 40 points, I think Parramatta put on them last yeah. week. They, they, they should have been embarrassed by that and came out physical and aggressive in Michael Maguire fashion, and they did nothing of the sort. See, if I'm James Tarmow, I'm getting my lieutenants with me this week, and we're running training sessions. In dialogue with Michael Maguire, what do you want this week? But it's Michael, stop talking this week. I will talk in front of most of the training sessions. I'll talk in the meeting. Give me what the training session looks like, and I will... Yeah, but Coop's not here. Yeah, what, 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 what lieutenants do they have? Yeah, you, you had Cameron Smith, who was the captain of Australia. You had Billy Slater, who was yep. arguably the greatest fullback of all time. You had Jesse Bromwich, that was the New Zealand captain. Mate, they've got one player in origin who's yeah, on the bench, mate, Joe Offa-Hengawe, that probably shouldn't even be there. Mate, it doesn't matter about they power. Haven't got it's the, about action yeah, and taking control. But they control haven't got that, and that's the issue. They need to buy. They need to recruit players. Like you just said, Dale Finucane, 
that, that can do that with James Tamer. They don't well, have that's, that. That's on Tamer. That's, that's on They've Tamer signed a premiership me. winning coach to instil those traits because they haven't been able to do it for over a decade. Yeah, I fear, I fear it's, they've dug that much of a hole at the moment. And in terms of their recruitment and the players they've got in that team, and, you, and we could see it at half time. If Jimmy walked in there, and I agree with you, Coops, to an extent, if you had those players around you and you're at a, in a half successful club, but when you, you look at the Tigers at the moment, oh, who's he going to get? Yeah, Who, just, who's he going to grab this week? And, and this is no, what you're saying is right, Coops, but mm. who, who's he, he going to get? Who's he going to walk in? I mean, we've seen no evidence of Brooks. I've, you hardly see Brooks, Brooks talk. Look at him there. Yeah, you know, Moses is talking, right. but Moses was out the door a few, a few weeks ago. The alternative ago. is to throw up the white flag and say we can't do it. Oh, so, hold that. on, get some balls about yourself and get this job done. Just fight for every inch and turn, not, not get you to turn this around, but just show some resolve and show some pride in that jersey because you can't sit here for another 10 weeks and go, ah, oh, we don't have talent, we don't have the players to do it. Hold on a minute. I was captain of a club that made the the grand final last year. I've seen it before. Moses Mbai come with me. Luke Brooks come with me. Let's go and just make a real fist of this game this week. Michael, I know what you want to do. Tell me what you want. I'll lead this way and let's see how we go from there. I, I think what they really need to do, and I agree, I, I don't disagree with you, Kips. I just don't think they've got the personnel to do that. I think what needs to happen is what we've seen at the Cronulla Sharks and what's happened at the Dragons, where there's been some honesty with some key personnel to say, look, your time's up at the club. Your time's up at the club. We've seen honesty and the performance from Cronulla because the players have gone, you know what, I'm glad that the, the, the people have told me that I know where I'm going to be. I'm not going to be at the club, so I'm looking for a new club. But there's been honesty. There's been strong conversations. This group that, that is there now, Michael Maguire, and, and, you know, if, the, if some of them went to different systems, then I think it would benefit them. But where they're sitting together at the moment as a collective, I don't think that side can challenge for a premiership. And that's what Michael Maguire has been brought to the club to do. We saw it with Corey Norman's performance tonight. He was told last week, and yeah, sure, he didn't have a great night last week against the Dogs, but he turned around this week and he's spoken about the honesty that Anthony Griffin's given him. So now he's got clarity. We're seeing it in Sean Johnson at the moment and Aaron Woods. They've got to make some tough calls, the West Tigers. It's as simple as that.